It's official, Jenny. We're now married. Did you drop off the license at the courthouse? Sure did. Now we're officially husband and wife. It feels so real now. I'm so happy to finally have it all sorted out. Yeah, I'm sorry it took so long. There seemed to be some confusion at the courthouse, but it's all good now. Great! Did you get everything sorted out with your apartment? Yeah, just about. Let me know if there is anything I can help with. Is there anything left to move to our new place? No, just a few bags my parents are dropping off later. The movers brought some things I won't be keeping to the thrift store, and I'm dealing with the last few things now. Though they won't be by with the furniture until tomorrow. But once they arrive, all we have to do is get things arranged. Fantastic! Are you out at your old place now? Yep. The movers are just about to leave, and I'm going to be here for a while until my parents get here. Alright, I'll head over to the house now then. I'm so excited to be living together with my parents. Wait, what do you mean with your parents? I thought we were going to be moving into our own apartment. Oh, I thought I told you. I decided not to rent that place. What? I thought we talked about this. We're going to move in with my mom and dad for a while. I thought we had picked an apartment out. We went to see it and everything. I didn't bother moving forward with that place you had picked out. It looked like a dump anyway. Wait a second. I thought we had agreed on that apartment. I didn't agree to living with your parents. We should have our own place as a newly married couple. I thought you told me that you had gotten it all sorted out. I guess I forgot to tell you I didn't do it. What? How? Calm down, Jenny. Don't whip yourself up into a panic over it. It'll be fine. Why shouldn't I panic? You lied to me. You told me you had it all sorted out. Yeah, well, I made it up. That lease was just something I found off the internet and filled in myself. I didn't want to trick you, but I didn't see any other way to do it. To do what? What do I do about all my stuff? The movers are already going to the other apartment that we don't actually have a contract for. Just have them donate the rest of it. We don't need any of that stuff. My parents have plenty of furniture and stuff already. What if I want some of that stuff? There's no room for it. I can't believe you. Why did you lie to me about all of this? Why not just tell me you wanted to move in with your parents instead of tricking me like this? I knew that you never said yes unless I did something like this, so I had no choice but to lie. Why would you ever do that? If we had talked about it, I'm sure we could have come up with some kind of compromise instead of you just straight up lying to me. Chill out, Jenny. I have my reasons. Just let me explain. What reasons would you have for lying to me? I was worried that it might be hard to explain, but I really didn't have a choice. My mom had a really bad fall last month. What? Why didn't you tell me? She was kind of embarrassed about it. She hasn't really told anyone actually, but she broke her leg when she fell. She's been in a cast for ages and she's been having to use a wheelchair to get around at home. So I want to move in with her for a while to help her out while she gets back on her feet. Why didn't you just tell me this? I would have understood. I'm sorry, Jenny. Um, and there's one other thing. I was hoping you might be able to take care of her. I'm so busy with work and I do make enough for the two of us. So I thought you could just quit your job and take care of her until she gets better. Or maybe for a while longer. She isn't in great health as it is. What are you talking about? I didn't marry you just become a free home care nurse. And I thought we were going to have kids. How am I going to be able to have a baby and take care of your mom at the same time? It's going to be much harder while I'm pregnant. And basically impossible with an infant. Help me out here, Jenny. And what if I don't want to quit my job? You can't just ask me out of the blue to put my career into everything on hold because you can't find a way to take care of your mother. Why are you so mad about this? We can still have a kid and you'll have plenty of time for the kid even if you help with my mom. 
Yeah, but then I won't have time for anything else. You're absolutely out of your mind if you think I'll agree to do this. Well, it's not like we have any other choice now. We don't have any other place to live right now. So we're gonna have to live with her for a while no matter what. Just help me out with her. It'll be fine, I promise. Congratulations, sister! I'm so glad you and Oliver finally tied the knot! I'm also glad that the two of you are gonna take care of mom. Thanks, Lily. Hey, did you know about us moving in with your mom before? Yeah, Oliver told me about it a while ago. I'm just glad someone other than me is gonna take care of mom. Though, I'm sort of surprised he decided he wanted to lie to you about it. Did you know he was planning on tricking me into it? Yeah, he told me the entire plan. I thought he was sort of stupid, but I guess he went through with it. Why didn't you say anything? Well, I didn't want to have to deal with her anymore. So I figured if it worked, then you'd be stuck with her, and I wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. And I guess it did, so thanks for that. Not you too, Lily. I thought we were friends. I mean, we still are if you want to be. If anything, you're really helping me out here. I can't be taking care of her while I have my own kids to deal with. Even living next door, it was a huge pain to have to go over every morning and deal with her. What about me then? How am I supposed to manage when I have a kid? I don't know. I guess you'll just have to figure that out for yourself. Maybe I'll send you my kids for a little while so you can see what it's like. What do you mean, lend me your kids? You mean babysit? If you're going to be stuck with kids and mom, you might as well know what you're getting yourself into, right? So I'll just let you have my kids sometimes so that you can get some practice taking care of them both at once. And I'll get a little time without the obnoxious little rugrats running around all the time. It'll save on daycare and babysitters too. What? I'm not just going to be your free daycare service. Why not? I talked to Oliver and he said it was fine. And anyway, if you're really planning on having kids, you're better off figuring all this out before you actually have them anyway. You're going to have to get used to your new life, whether you like it or not. You can't be serious. I'm definitely not joking. Either way, thanks a lot for helping out. I'm at my limit. I can't put up with this anymore. You tricked me into being your slave. I'm not your wife. I'm just your servant. What are you going on about all of a sudden? Haven't you gotten used to taking care of her by now? How can I get used to this? I'm not a trained nurse. She requires professional care, and you've got me working basically all day to try to keep her alive. You made it seem like she just had one broken bone, but she's way worse than that. I spend basically all day looking after her while you're at work, and you still demand I cook and clean on top of that. If you haven't figured it out by now, I'm not sure what to tell you. Lily managed it for all that time with kids. Clearly, you have some sort of problem if you can't do it without all that. Maybe if you helped me at all, it wouldn't be so bad. If you volunteer to take her to a couple doctor's appointments, or helped with dinner, or really just anything, maybe I could figure it out. But you won't even lift a finger. What do you expect me to do? I'm busy with work. I don't have time to be chauffeuring her around to doctors and feeding her. And I'm too tired to do anything when I get home. How do you think I feel? I barely have time to think. I have to wake up in the middle of the night to take your mom to the bathroom so I can't even sleep properly. I spend all my time taking care of her and you do nothing. I'm done. I need a break. I'm going to a spa on Friday. What? I need some time away from this to get my head straight. I'm going to relax and think about what we're going to do about this marriage. I've just spent two months being your mother's unpaid care nurse. And don't start with me about paying for it. I'm using my own money. 
Are you really going to abandon us to run off to some spa? Do you not care about us at all? And I already promised Lily you'd look after her kids this weekend. I can't just tell her no now. She already has plans. Why did you agree to it without asking me? I'm not going to do it. You're just going to have to figure it out yourself. I left you a message about it. I don't have time to listen to my messages. Well, whatever. I already told her you'd do it, so you better be here to watch them. You can't refuse now. I can and I will. You're just going to have to watch them yourself. I have plans, and I'm not changing them just because you didn't account for it. Well, I have plans too. I'm not going to be able to watch them either. I'm going camping with my buddies this weekend, and I can't back out now. So you're going to have to just cancel your trip. Absolutely not. This is what you signed up for. You're my wife, and I expect you to do what I say. You can't just go buzzing off to a spa whenever you feel like it. You have a responsibility to this family. I don't have a responsibility to anyone. You're treating me like a slave. You don't even treat me like your wife. You've barely even looked at me since we've gotten married. You come home in the middle of the night stinking drunk and pass out. I have barely talked to you in person in months. Yeah, well, I do what I want because I take care of my responsibilities. Unlike you, abandoning my mother like this. Like you're one to talk about responsibilities. Pawning your sickly mother off on me like this. And I'm not abandoning anyone. I already hired a nurse to take care of your mother while I'm gone. I at least care about your mother to make sure that she's looked after. But I'm not going to deal with Lily's kids either. I'm not her babysitter. If you can't deal with that, maybe we should just get a divorce. Thanks again for helping out with the kids, Jenny. I left them at your house, but I wasn't sure if you heard me. Did Oliver not tell you? I'm not going to be able to watch them this weekend. I told him to tell you, but I guess he forgot. No, he told me, but I told him he'd have to make you do it. But if you didn't manage that, I guess that's on him. He'll just have to come get them. What kind of parent are you leaving your kids alone like that? Are you really just going to leave them outside unattended? Do you not care about what happens to them if you leave them alone? If you're so worried about them, why don't you just come take care of them yourself? Just remember that if something happens to them, it's your fault. It's not my problem anymore. What? Why? I got the marriage annulled. You did what? I ended it. Now, Oliver and I don't have anything to do with each other. Not legally, at least. So I don't really feel any need to ruin my plans for you. You're not my sister-in-law anymore, so I really don't feel any obligation to be free daycare for you. Wait, how did you get an annulment? You've been married for two months. He's barely looked at me since the wedding. He spent all his time at work or out drinking with his friends. And every weekend, he'd disappear on Friday night and show back up on Sunday and then sleep the entire day. He's hardly even a roommate, let alone a husband. We didn't even have a proper honeymoon, so I went to a judge and got it annulled. He didn't even wait to hear me explain the situation. Just signed it, and that was that. Can you even do that? Does Oliver know? Apparently I can. It's not finalized until he signs it. But at this point, he doesn't really have a way to say no. I messaged him about it, but he's camping, so he probably doesn't have service. I'm going to come by soon and get my stuff and leave him the paper he's supposed to get. Make sure he gets it, okay? Are you really breaking up with him? Sure am. Anyway, I'm going to go stay with a friend for a while. I'm leaving this afternoon. I'll let your kids inside the apartment when I'm there, but I don't think the home care nurse is going to be very happy about taking care of them. You might want to come get them before she charges you more, or reports you to child services for neglect. What is this that Lily is saying about you annulling the marriage? 
She's lying, right? Are you really leaving? She's not lying. I'm done with taking care of your mom and her kids against my will. And I told you if you keep trying to force me to do it, we're gonna get a divorce. But since we've basically not actually been a married couple, I convinced the judge to just null it. What? Why would you do that? You didn't give me much choice. I was being treated like a slave. So I decided I was done. But this is what you agreed to. I didn't agree to anything. Are you planning on just leaving Lily's kids standing out in the cold like that? That's her problem if she's abandoning her kids outside like that. You're so ungrateful. After everything I've done for you, I married you and gave you this beautiful house and that you went to our family and this is how you repay us? Lily is a hard-working single mother and deserves a break and you just decide to run off and leave her and her kids alone? What are you even talking about? You literally just turned me into your servant. You've done nothing for me at all. And Lily is a terrible mother. She barely looks after her kids, and the moment she can pawn them on someone else, she does it without even a care in the world. I'm done with all of you. All you've done is take advantage of me. The documents are on the kitchen table at your mom's house. You can sign them whenever you feel like it. But you should know, no matter what you do, I'm done with this marriage. We can fight it out in court if you want, but I'm not coming back. I'm not doing any of that. Well, then you better figure something out, because I'm not going to be there to take care of your family for you. You're my wife. I'm not going to stand for this. Well, you don't have a choice. And it's not like you're much of a husband yourself. All you've done is work and go out with your friends since we've gotten married. We barely had a wedding and we didn't even have a honeymoon. And you haven't even touched me once since we got married. I'm just a maid to you. You're not a maid. You're my wife. It's your job to take care of the house. No, it's my job to be your wife. That's it. Or it was. Now, I don't have to do anything for you. I'm done talking to you. Good luck. I had to cancel all my plans because of you. I can't believe you'd be so selfish. My boyfriend and I have been planning this trip for ages. This was the first time I've been able to see him in months. And because of you, I can't do any of it. Maybe you should have thought about that sooner and found someone who actually can watch your kids instead of just assuming I was going to do it. This is what you get when you just assume everyone else is going to do stuff for you. How dare you speak to me like this? This is all your fault. And now my boyfriend figured out that I have kids. He's threatening to break up with me. That sucks. Maybe you should have told him about it from the beginning. But you and your brother really just can't stop lying, huh? Either way, it's not my problem. It most definitely is. You're the one that caused all this. You should take responsibility for your actions. That's fresh. You're going to lecture me on taking responsibility? I am out $500 because of you. And I've had to pay cancellation fees on top of the price of hotels and tickets. You owe me for all of it. I don't owe you anything. Yes, you do. You're the reason I had to cancel all my plans, so you should at least pay for all of it. And I expect you to help me win my boyfriend back too. Or at the very least, pay for me to go on another trip. Pay up. I'm not paying for anything. None of this is my fault. I'm not your babysitter, and I'm definitely not your slave. Your brother and I got divorced, and I am moving out. All of this is your problem now. I have no plans on paying for anything for you. You witch! Call me whatever you want. I'm done. If you're so desperate to figure this out, why don't you just move in with your mother and brother and live together? You can take care of Oliver and your mother instead of me. There's no way I'm doing that. 
Well, it would fix your problem with not having anyone to take care of your mother. And you might as well just deal with Oliver, too. I'm not going to beat my brother's servant. That's your job. And I have kids I have to take care of. Come back and do what you said you would. I never said I'd do any of this. I got tricked into it and I did it just because I didn't think I had a way to get out of it. But now I found my exit and I'm taking it. You can figure out how to handle it. I managed for two months without any experience. And you know more than I do, being a single mother and all. Fine, be that way. I'll deal with this for now until you come crawling back. Have your fun, because it's over the moment you get back. I'm not coming back ever. Whatever. I bet I can deal with all of this way better than you can. You're just a failure of a woman. I'll show you what a real woman can do. Please come home, Jenny. We need you. I can't handle it anymore. I can't live like this. Wow, did it only take a week? That was fast. I thought you'd at least last two. This is way harder than I thought. Please come home and help me. I can't live like this anymore. Oliver leaves me at home all day and barely gives me enough money to feed myself, let alone five people. And I'm trapped inside all day taking care of mom and the kids. That really sucks. I'm not surprised Oliver is barely giving you any money. I bet he's spending everything else drinking with his friends. You can try to talk to him about it, but every time I asked him, he just blew me off. He'd tell me I should be able to figure it out. What am I supposed to do? There's no way we can all live on $300 a week. And on top of that, I spent all my time trying to look after mom. But she needs so much help, I can barely keep up with her. I don't know what to tell you, girl. I tried to warn you, but you didn't listen. Hope you can figure it out. Please help me, Jenny. I don't know what to do. Please come back and help me. I can't take care of all of this on my own. I already told you I wasn't coming back. I haven't changed my mind. And I doubt I ever will. Why would I ever go back to that hell house? I can't handle this anymore. I'm going crazy here. I'm so tired all the time and everything hurts from running around and dealing with my mom. Sorry to hear that, but I guess you made your bed and now you have to sleep in it. Please, please, please come back. I won't make you look after the kids anymore. I can take care of them on my own. But I just can't handle having to take care of my mom anymore. Please come back and help me with her. I'm definitely not coming back. You and Oliver need to work it out between yourselves. I'm not dealing with his selfish antics anymore. And I'm not dealing with you. Goodbye for now. After unsuccessfully begging me to come back and be her mother's nursemaid again, Lily got in a fight with Oliver and refused to keep taking care of their mother. She left their house the next day, now leaving Oliver with his ailing mother and no one to take care of her. Lily tried to patch things up with her boyfriend and move in with him, but he refused to live with her and her two kids, leaving her with nowhere to stay and no one to help her. Oliver, now with no one to look after his mother and unable to reasonably afford someone to take care of her full time, tried to convince me to come back as well but I refused to respond to any of his cries for help. With no other options, he was forced to take time off work to figure out how to take care of her. His only option was a care home, and while it was somewhat cheaper than a living nurse, he's now spending a significant chunk of his salary on a care home for her. He tried to convince Lily to help pay, but she refused, and the two are still fighting and continue to be on bad terms. Oliver quickly had to sell his mother's house and move to a shoddy apartment on the other side of town. No longer able to afford to keep up with the payments and without his mother's social security checks to pay for it. 
He is now alone and miserable, unable to return to his carefree life of fun with his friends that he had before I left. About me, I got my wish and was able not only to annul my marriage, but after speaking to a lawyer, was even able to sue Oliver for damages. With all the evidence of his deception and forcing me to work as a servant against my will, I was easily able to convince a judge to force Oliver to hand over quite a pretty penny for everything he did. Later on, I used that money to go on the honeymoon I had always wanted. But of course, without an annoying husband demanding I wait on him hand and foot. Now free from the demanding, unreasonable husband, I've now gone on to live a much more carefree life. I even found myself a new boyfriend, one that I'm sure isn't going to trick me into working for free anytime soon.